Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17 or at our website, WSKITV.com, where you can find this forecast year-round to know before you go. Brought to you by 45 North, serving breakfast and dinner daily in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. For Saturday, chance of flurries with mostly cloudy skies, nice temperatures, 22 to 26 at the top of the mountain, 32 to 36 at the base. Winds a little bit noticeable at the summit and moderately noticeable at the base out of the north, keeping the temperatures nice and cool. Snow should be pretty good after they groom it overnight with those nice temperatures. It'll be a decent day out there. On Sunday, a little bit of sunshine, probably more clouds than sunshine, cooling down a little bit, 17 to 21 up high, 29 to 33 at the base. Winds Still a little bit noticeable out of the north, but not quite so much. And another great day to be here on the mountain. As we look forward to the week ahead, Monday will be partly sunny. 33 at the base, 18 up top. Tuesday, partly sunny again, 31 at the bottom and 16 up top. And then Wednesday, oh, do we dare hope. It does look like there might be a bit of snow headed our way on Wednesday, and we are certainly willing to change the groove, get a new jet stream going our way, and get some snow in here. So cross our fingers, Wednesday is when we will see some decent, measurable snow headed our way. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for Saturday. Machine groomed and loose granular is what you'll find up there. Overnight, we're seeing the 20 24-hour winter kids event on a lower narrow gauge. 81 trails and trail sections open for skiing and riding. They'll groom Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote, Upper Double Bitter, Kings, Hayburner, Comp Hill, Gondola Line, Gauge, Skidder, Spillway, Sluice, White Nitro, Lower Wedge, Candy Side, Lower Winter's Way, Landing and Birches in the center part of the mountain. So that's from tip top right down to the bottom. On the east side, they'll do Hallback, Choker, Flume, Widowmaker, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Two Hall, Whiffle Tree and Slasher. On the west side, Scoot, Windrow and West Mountain. And of course, every single night, they work on the terrain parks, making sure they're in great shape for you. Snubber starts up at 8 o'clock on the weekends. Sawduster and Skidway at 8.30. And the Moose later at 9 o'clock. All those lifts in the base area beginner terrain. Both sides of Double Runner will be good to go at 8.30 on Saturday morning. That gets you a little bit further up, and the top of Double Runner is where they are skiing from overnight. West Mountain starts up at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. Super Quad and Skyline at 8.30, and hopefully Timberline will be good to go at 9 o'clock. You'll have to watch our live show in the morning to see how that progresses. Whether or not those breezes will inhibit Timberline. King Pine and Wolf Tree hopefully good to go at 8.30, and we have number three T-Bar on demand if the wind does blow really hard. Outdoor Center is reporting excellent cross-country ski conditions and also fat bike conditions. Things are changeable with the weather conditions up and down and temperatures as well. Fat bike conditions are really good this weekend with a bit more snow and the freezing overnight and the grooming, which they're doing with Sprocket. Check out the mountain bike trails here in Carabasa all year round. If you're looking for music on a Friday night, one of the places to head to is the shipyard. Always a ton of fun to be had there. And don't forget their ski in, ski out lunches. And early on Saturday, there's TRX training and more going on at the AGC. Always a great place to get in shape. And if you want your child to take advantage of kids' night out, make sure you get in touch with the mountain to make your reservations now for a Saturday night. Widowmaker has harsh armadillo playing both friday and saturday that is upstairs in the base lodge and if you want to know what's happening here on the mountain anytime anywhere check out our website wskitv.com and our quad cam if you'd like to have a real-time view or the time-lapse view check it out tonight because they've got 24 hour skiing going on kangaroo hill nowhere else will you get the information you get from wski know before you go